name's Tommy too. I'm 10 years old. I'm in class 588 at Dongja Primary School. I'm a pretty girl with black hair, black eyes, and a round face. People say I'm friendly because I have a lot of friends at school. I'm also helpful because I help my parents a lot. My favorite color is pink. Most of my clothes are in pink color. My hobbies are listening to music, reading comics, and singing. That is all about myself. Today, I want to tell you about a serious problem. Are you curious why the children are always stubborn, even addicted to games? If you pay attention, when you scold or shout at them, you see that your children's eyes are filled with tears, filled with pain and sadness. If you still don't understand the problem, let me give you an example. You see that the tree you have been taking care of for so long is just a small tree. You will surely discover pests and diseases. Water this tree continuously. Take care of it more carefully than usual. But the tree still keeps the shape initial. Well, so why don't you check the roots of the tree? You may find out the reason why the tree can't grow up properly. Just like why the children are stubborn and addicted to games. In fact, they want to stop and to get out of the temptation of the games, but they can't. There is a force that manipulates their mind to stay there and play games. The more they avoid them, the more they will be manipulated back into the games again. Or maybe the reason why they're stubborn is you. Your family has many quarrels, and your children are increasingly stubborn and refuse to listen to you. Although they are very naughty on the outside, they are filled with loneliness and sadness inside. They don't know what to do, even where to start, and their mind revolves around such questions. Though, young souls, it's deeply wounded. With its explanations, I'm sure some parents will feel guilty, but it's not too late. Let's fake our mistakes. I suggest you some advice. You should spend more time confiding with your children, giving them the most sincere words of encouragement. That is the most valuable advice for me. I hope there will be no children be held captive in their own lonely hearts again. That is all about my presentation for today. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. See you next time.